what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Hey friends, it's Wednesday morning. I just got back from taking James to work. I could not go to sleep last night. I went to bed at like 1.30, got back up at 2.30, took James to work. It's now almost 4. I'm home. Um, I'm about to go inside, but I was sitting here watching some deer in my pasture for a minute. But we are about to go inside, or I'm about to go inside and go back to bed. I have to be back up at 7 to take CJ to work, so I've got to get up and moving pretty soon, so I'm going to try to get as much sleep as I can over the next three hours. It's usually pretty hard for me to fall asleep, so we'll see, but um, I've got to take him to work. He's doing some work for my friend Micah's husband and her doing demo work, and so um, he's got to do that today. We are out of school this week because of Thanksgiving break thankfully because I just needed the break. Um, what else is going on? Um, tomorrow we're going to go to my brother's house for Thanksgiving. So I need to make deviled eggs. I need to make a pie or a dessert, which I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. Maybe apple pie because I made all the apple pie filling. And then I need to make an appetizer to go with it. For my deviled eggs, I'm going to do deviled eggs with cowboy candy on top and uh, appetizer, I don't know, some type of dip maybe, and then like crackers or something. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I could do cream cheese with hot pepper jelly and crackers, and that would be super simple because I already have the hot pepper jelly made and canned in my cellar, and then um, the apple pie for dessert. There you go. That's my plan for my brother's Thanksgiving. And then um, what else? We have a lot going on here. We need to take care of animals and things, clean up the house. I need to do some laundry so I don't get behind on that with Thanksgiving coming. Penny has an appointment at the allergy doctor at three o'clock today in Oklahoma City. I did not schedule that. They auto scheduled it and I'm not too thrilled to be in Oklahoma City that late in the day, the day before a holiday with all the traffic we're going to hit on the way home, but it is what it is. She has an appointment, so we have that later today. I foresee a lot of coffee going on today because I'm tired, but I wanted to hop on here, say hi, say good morning. I'm going to get inside and get back to bed. Good morning, friends. Um, I just dropped CJ off at work. It's 930 now. When I got home, it took me till after six to go to sleep and then back up at seven with him. So I basically didn't sleep. Um, yeah, I just, I'm tired right now, but I took him to work. We stopped at Dutch Brothers on the way. I got myself this candy cane Dutch freeze with two shots of espresso, and I got him a Golden Eagle hot chai drink, and then, um, dropped him off. I ran in Dollar Tree. It's time for me to start stocking up on wrapping paper and gift tags and tape, so I ran in to grab those, grab some containers to take to my brother's house for the different things that I'm bringing over there and what else did I get um I got some autoban autobahn I don't know how you say that but I'm gonna give that a try for carpet cleaning my living room because everybody um tracks red Oklahoma mud into my floors and it drives me crazy but I say don't wear shoes in the house and they don't for the most part but if they're running in to grab something and running back out they will take their shoes off so my floor needs carpet clean. I thought we'd give that a shot and see how it does. Um, I think that's about all I got. Containers for the, the Thanksgiving tomorrow. We got wrapping paper and stuff. We got the carpet stuff. Oh, and I got gift bags and ornaments for my Sunday school classes ornament exchange. And that's it. So that ended up costing me $40, but it was stuff that we needed and it's stuff that I won't have to worry about last minute. So I'm glad I got that done. Our Sunday school party is in a week and a half, I think. And so I don't have to worry about that. Just have to figure out what I'm gonna bring for the potluck. But yeah, so 
I'm heading home. Kids were drinking cocoa and playing Monopoly when I called and chatted with them in the parking lot at Dollar Tree, so I know they're good. And I'm almost there. And we are going to watch Christmas movies, and this mother is going to take a nap. So I have no no goals of being productive today. I should because it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I think after I take a nap, I will be. But right now, my goal is a nap. I do need today to get some stuff done. I need to uh, make the dough for my apple pie that I'm bringing tomorrow. That way it's chilled and ready to roll out tomorrow and I can just get the apple pie made. I need to um, go to my cellar and get out the red hot pepper jelly stuff that I make for the cream cheese dip and I need um, to boil eggs for deviled eggs and then I'll just make those tomorrow and I think that's about it. Tomorrow morning I'm going to do a lot of the prep for our Thanksgiving but we are doing Thanksgiving at my house on Friday and we're doing Thanksgiving at my brother's house on Thursday so I prep today for his, tomorrow I can prep for ours, like make our pie crust and stuff. And then after my brother's Thanksgiving, when I get home, I can just roll out dough and make pies before bed and all that fun stuff. Get the turkey prepped and Thursday or Friday will go smoothly for us. But I mean, I don't intend on being stressed out Friday. I plan on just kind of having a chill day at home, making a big dinner and just relaxing with my family. So I'm not going to let myself get bothered if I don't get certain things done in a certain timeline for ours. And I'm trying to keep it super simple for what I bring to my brothers this year. And I've already made and canned apple pie filling, so all I have to do is make the pie crust and bake it. And I've already made my red pepper, my hot pepper jelly. So all I have to do is open that up and pour it over some cream cheese and open some crackers. And then deviled eggs are pretty simple. And I think I'm going to put candy for, you know, cowboy candy on top of those when I do that on deviled eggs. James loves them. The kids love them. Everybody that we ever have over to dinner when I make them always says they are great. I mean, they just kind of add like a spicy, savory sweetness to the deviled eggs. I can't explain it. But if you've ever made cowboy candy, definitely try putting that on deviled eggs. Um, but anyways, I am about to be in my driveway. So I'm going to get off of here and get this stuff unpacked and I'll talk to you guys after I take a nap. We have a lot of leftovers for lunch today. We have the smoked sausage and potatoes, green beans, pork tenderloin, and two types of beans. And then I went ahead and threw some coconut shrimp in the oven for anybody that might want that. And then also I threw the sauce on the back of the stove where it gets hot to thaw out while that was cooking. Good afternoon, good afternoon friends. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, what have I accomplished today? Um, that's not entirely true. I did swap the laundry, but I didn't fold any of the laundry. And I deep cleaned the bathroom. I scrubbed that tub out, I scrubbed the toilet, I scrubbed the sink, scrubbed the floor, walls, I deep cleaned the bathroom. That's it. And then I made lunch and I napped all afternoon. But now it's 3.30, I'm headed to go pick up CJ from work and find out if I need to head up over to pick up James or if he's still working and go from there. But that's it, that's all I've done today. Um, I don't really feel that bad about it either because I'm just exhausted. But when I get back, I will get the pepper jelly out of the cellar and get busy on getting meatloaf in the oven and then I'll get my pie dough done and get my pie made after dinner after the dough's had time to chill and boil the eggs for the deviled eggs so I'll still get things done but just not as soon in the day as I had intended on it but I just really needed the rest so um the kids watched Five Nights at Freddy's, and they watched Genie. I think both of them were on Peacock, and they both, they enjoyed both movies. And during Five Nights at Freddy's, I slept, and now they're watching Norma the North, and I've got to go get CJ from work. So, 
I'm going to go do that, but I just kind of wanted to hop on here and give you guys a quick update. Back home from picking up CJ from work. We did a quick pickup on the car because we just did all that cleaning in here and I don't want it to get dirty again. So we picked up the car. Now I'm going to get inside and I'm going to call James, see how long he's going to be. If he's going to be a while, I'm going to go ahead and start on my Thanksgiving prep for tomorrow. So for dinner tonight, we are doing meatloaf. I have three pounds of ground beef in my bowl. I'm going to crack two eggs into it, and then I'm also going to add some pecani sauce. We do that pretty often instead of chopping up onions and peppers and stuff. And then I'm going to stuff it with some shredded up Swiss cheese. So right now, I'm just going to get everything mixed up, and then I'll show you guys how I assemble our meatloaf. Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a cup So as you can see, I put a layer of meat across the bottom of the pan I put my Swiss cheese through the middle without putting it on the edges And then I put meat over the top and sealed it all the way around So that the cheese will not run out while it bakes I'm gonna bake this at 350 for an hour I spend this day with you it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. So, James just called me. He's done at work. My meatloaf's going to be in the oven for an hour. So, I'm going to run and get James. It'll be done about the time I get back. And I'll put my ketchup and stuff on top. Put it back in there for a little bit. And work on my mashed potatoes, gravy, 
and corn and that'll be dinner tonight i am war smooth out guys um so i picked up the kitchen wiped off the counters all that fun stuff and cleaned off the top of my stove and did a bunch of dishes swept the kitchen mopped the kitchen and cj's working on the dining room mika's working on the living room i swept the stairs because just random things end up all over them stairs all the time and got that done and so the house is in pretty good order at the moment cj's gonna finish picking up the dining room sweeping and mopping it for me while i'm gone and then we'll have dinner in a nice clean house when i get home and i am ready to just park it because i'm just i'm done i'm tired and i'm done today but i thought i would hop on here real quick and kind of tell you guys where i'm at with my day today so that's where we're at um i'm gonna get going and go get james so in this small bowl i have equal parts brown sugar and ketchup and then i did a little bit of wood fire garlic seasoning onion powder salt pepper and some paprika and i did about a teaspoon maybe a teaspoon and a half of worcestershire i'm going to get this mixed up and put it over the top of the meatloaf and then put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes To go with our meatloaf, I'm making mashed potatoes and gravy, so I did a little bit of the vegetable and the beef better than bouillon. I'm going to bring this to a boil with a little bit of onion powder in there as well, and then I'm going to whisk in a cornstarch slurry to thicken this up, and that'll be our gravy, and then we have mashed potatoes and gravy and corn with our meatloaf. Here's our finished gravy. It is absolutely wonderful. If you've not made it from scratch with the better than bouillon, you should definitely give it a try. Here is our finished dinner tonight. Thanks for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you want to chat, and I'll see you next time with another new video. Bye.